I'm here with Roland Perry and this is book number 34, Tea and Scotch with Bradman. So what was the inspiration for this book, apart from Bradman himself? Well, I've done his biography quarter of a century ago, and a publisher rang, Jude McGee, from uh, ABC Books, and said, would you be interested in doing a memoir? And I said, no. And then I thought about it later, we discussed it, and I thought, a memoir is different, because you've got to get... You've got to give the impressions of the man. You know, what sort of character was he? And a lot of people have no idea about what Bradman was like in terms of his integrity, his humour, his interest outside sport, outside cricket. So that was a challenge because I had copious notes, tapes, endless tapes on it. And it was a good exercise to finish. I enjoyed doing a memoir because you've got to bring the eye into it, which I'm not trained to do. Right. And if you were going to compare Bradman to anyone these days or in our day and age, is there a comparison? Well, Steve Smith has come up, obviously, since the ashes of 2019. And he is in the same league on many levels, there's no doubt. His unorthodoxy, his brilliance, his capacity for the big score, and his courage. Bradman had peritonitis when he made a triple hundred at Leeds in England in 1934 to win a major test, which gave us a series nearly. Uh, along comes Smith, X number of years, you know, 90 years later, and he gets knocked out in a test at Leeds. I was there for that. It was an amazing moment in cricket I've seen. I think it's about. And he comes back, he misses a test because he's concussed. Comes back and makes 211 and 82 and wins a test. So they're in the same league in terms of courage and orthodoxy. Smith has a way to go to get up in the clouds with Bradman, who's the greatest sportsman of the 20th century in my opinion. But still, Smith is the most exciting thing to come along since Bradman.